Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Punk, and I'm back with another video. And today, we have a video that you guys love and is your favorite. Today, we are doing a Street Fighter V Definitive Edition Update tier list this is going to be the end game of the end game if you love street fighter 5 before we get into it i need you to go like comment subscribe and turn the post notification bell on and let's get into this tier list i'm not going to say one of these characters is better than another but if you don't know why these characters are top two one luke you know is a character that pretty much has everything right you know he has a fireball dp but he has a very weird fireball that pretty much makes it impossible to react to his fireball at all and it kind of makes it very powerful and Luke also has a lot of conversions that lead into literally just 40% off of just one EX bar that's pretty much why Luke is up there doing Luke things you would understand on my last tier list video I made you will know why poison is up here they didn't change her at all with this patch they kind of just let her do what she do and then they gave her some damage buffs i think that's probably like the biggest problem with poison is ex heart rate pretty much leads into a guaranteed grab you know kind of makes her like a grappler honestly she's ain't deep now she just puts you ex heart rate command grab you know what i'm saying you can tech it but do you really want to because if you try to tech against poison she does some of the biggest damage in the game on top of being a zoning character. And yeah, this character is just, she's, she's, she, she gaming, we would say, in the esports world. She's gaming. Dalsum would have to be next. I think this character is fantastic still. Yeah, Dalsum just still doing Dalsum thing, bro. V-Shift is still in the game. V-Shift just helped this character tremendously on top of all the new Dalsum combos that he's gotten over the years with the loops with the ex fireball the loops all that stuff just does so much damage right and it makes this character just so scary on offense and already scary to even get in on in the first place so yeah you know zoning characters are kind of rule ruling street fighter right now as you can see it's kind of crazy to be honest i think ken is is probably next on the list like I won't say this is ordered really, but I think these characters are still all S tier and all amazing. This character has improved so much over the years from the heavy DP buffs to all the new combo buffs. He even has some new pressure buffs this season with the run. Like you can do EX Fireball run and V Trigger and it's kind of like a, a pretty good way to close around sometimes. I would put Jury now. This season, I think Jury is so good right she has so many buffs so many ways to do damage i think that was her biggest problem before she had to hit you a lot to do damage now she just straight does big boy damage when she be touching you and she got ways to she got new combos to get the stores and so she can implement getting more stores and combos into more damage so this character i think has went up a lot all of her problems is pretty much non-existent now this character m bison honestly he just doesn't go anywhere on the tier list he doesn't ever get nerfed and he got buffs to his v trigger one this season i don't know why yeah this character just kind of keeps going up and never getting touched or nerfed so yeah i would definitely throw bison up there in the s tier category yeah chun Li is another s tier i think this season she's gotten a lot of buffs the hazantu buffs honestly just made this character just so good on top of v trigger 2 also being amazing with chun already yeah and this character i don't think had that many bad matchups if any at all honestly she does really well against mostly all the top tiers yeah this character has definitely risen on the tier list and snuck her way back up somehow again she always sneak her way back up last i think character i want to put on the s tier list would probably be zekul this character zekul always get buffs every season he's very under talked about very he's definitely like you know what is that word like a freaking like when under under talk underrated there you go thank you guys dang i can't couldn't think of that underrated this character is very underrated i might have to start really exploring some zeku i'm not gonna lie he keep getting under the radar and i think zeku is fantastic i might have to come and explore this character more honestly i do think there's like an a plus class in this game that's like 
a bit better than the A tier. And at first, I would say it would be Gao. Gao is a character that's just so good, right? Like, his Sonic Boom Flash Kick, especially in this game, is just so good. Sonic Boom Flash Kick will probably always be good, right? But, yeah, in this game, Gao just has a lot of really good zoning. And on top of that, the character has so much good ways to open you up and rush you down and get big damage. Gao does so much damage. And they honestly, they keep buffing his damage every season, giving him new combos. And just, it's just insane to me that rush down or zoning characters in this game have so much options to just get in there and just wash you. I'm sick of getting washed by these and being oppressed by the rush down characters. Next in this list, I would definitely say is Karen. She didn't get nerfed too bad to the ground she just kind of got normalized and with people probably wanted a lot of time with and also was been being abused with the character for years and years now is her crouching medium kick and it does it was a bit hard to whiff punish before but now you don't really have any excuse in the world if you missing a whiff punish that's all on you yeah the character is still pretty much the same she's still dishing out all the damage She's still doing Karen teams in it. Next, I would definitely say Cody is on that list. This character had been so good for so long, I've been preaching it. But now everyone is kind of on the Cody coattails because they see Momoshi and John Takauchi doing well. And that's, I guess, what it takes for people to say a character is good. You have to see a Japanese player do it right. Because if an American say it, then it ain't real if it's not happening in Japan. He has so many good matchups because he does have a sway. I would say the only matchups he really struggled with that keep him from being SS tier is I would say he struggles with Dawson, Poison, and I think he struggles with Bison a bit. I would probably say Rashid. I maybe come for a surprise to some people. I don't think Rashid is in the S tier category. I do think that this character is really good. Still, he has all the things that he always had, but now I think that people finally realizing how to fight Rashid a lot better these days. When you do know the matchup very well and you check him for doing like his EX whirlwind, fake EX whirlwind shot. When you check in those things, Rashid kind of go down and on PC, especially since everything is on PC a lot these days. He doesn't really get away with a lot of those type of things anymore. And that means you have to play Rashid in a much more safe and non-oppressive way, in my opinion. Another character I would say is not as tier anymore. I would say is Cammy. I do think that... She is still all the things before that she had, but the unnecessary nerf to the drill, I think, not comboing now from most ranges two times, I think, is a very big nerf. Because Cammy already don't really get much damage off of her confirmed, so it's no real reason to nerf that part of her. And I think that kind of nerfs her. Now she needs to get even more hits and make less mistakes on top of having not that much health. So, yeah, I think this character definitely going down a bit because of the because of the low forward nerf. I think Alex would probably be the last one in this list. Even if you go look at my last video that I did on Alex, this character is just really good. Uh, last season, they just gave him so many nerfs. And now, this season, they even gave him more buffs. With I think now he can get the... What is it? Which version of the V-Trigger 2 is it? The DDT? I think that's the one he could get more now. That's really good because he gets Oki off of that one. So you can get that one more in more combos and now get better Oki and damage with the V-Trigger. Now we will start off the A tier list or the A list and I think it would be with Yuria. This character is still really good but obviously everyone know the big nerf to EX head but which is a big nerf. He still has the ages. He still have all his good combos. And they gave him even new combos and new damage that he could get this season. I'm going to put Nikali. Nikali is a character I think improved a lot. Maybe he could even go in A+. Honestly, I'm not sure. He's so good now. I want to say this character has improved a lot with just one buff tremendously. Is the Sosmo buff. Just Sosmo being faster. And now you can't really react to it as much like you could before is so good and he builds v meter so fast with that now yeah this character has improved tremendously from last season to now he can play he can fight in neutral he can bang with the best of them now in my opinion and this character is you can you can definitely play him right now you know what i'm saying after that i would probably put folk i think folk has just been getting buffs and buffs and buffs and buffs and buffs, and buffs. 
the folk players talk their way to the top and she's finally she finally there i don't really see folk having too many bad matchups anymore honestly she very very good against like the top tier characters i think i don't know about poison but or dalsam i think versus luke she actually does really well and then the other character except maybe about jury bison she struggles in those matchups in the damage department she does so much damage with the v trigger too they buffed it made it a lot better now too you can it doesn't whiff as much i think now you can always get it in combos and confirm so you never have to worry about like not being able to get activations with the v trigger i think balrog would be like a tier like right here i think this would be like a good spot for him i don't think balrog is as good as everyone say but he definitely improves every season now he has like better frame traps and combos so this character is definitely like improved with better frame traps i think that's like a big area that balrog might have struggled in before is he don't have the best like up close frame traps all the time but now they made him better and they gave him better frame advantage to get better combos now his bad matchups never get any better but his good matchups they keep getting better and better right so yeah i think that that's why this character is still like not as good i think the last character i would put here is probably laura honestly i think laura is forever just the a tier character because she simply can rob you in two seconds bro they don't nerf the robbery on laura and it happens so fast and there's not many right options you know it's always just kind of 50 50 you either get your dp baited or you get command grabbed or you get hit with the meaty and every option is just honestly not the right one but sometimes you should just probably take the command grab more times than not but you know i can't blame you if you want to just get out and try to jump away we start b tier off with i think seth this character i think has improved a lot now seth has like the good crotch and medium kick confirmed that they didn't have before right so that's really good the v trigger 2 honestly is one of the best v triggers in the game the only problem i think seth really have these days is just such low health in this game seth makes one mistake and they're already getting stunned next hit and then dying with the stun combo so it's like you only really can make one mistake with seth and then another character i think that's in that position same thing exactly really it goes for akuma pretty good character suffers from having really low health and you can't make a mistake on top of all the nerfs that they gave Akuma over the years, where now his buttons are pretty easy to whiff punish. They give him new combos, new confirms, new damage ways, open up big damage and get good V meter also. Next, I wanna say Colleen. I think Colleen has went down on a tier list so much with them nerfing her V trigger so much. And now they took away the big combo that she got if she get crush counters. On top of her already struggling with all the zoning characters and then zoning characters kind of ruin or not ruin or just ruling the game right now so like you know what do you expect from colleen when her v trigger getting nerfed and it runs out so fast and that's like the only counter she has against zoning abuki i think is actually pretty good this season i have high hopes for abuki i think now you can definitely fight with her i want to add a b plus because honestly i think abuki is a bit better than those characters with her v trigger being plus again it kind of gives Abuki back her little flair that she has that makes her Abuki, even though V-Shift is still in the game. I think this character's definitely been buffed a lot this season, I would say. And I want to put Seth up here. I think Seth would be B+, not B. And then, honestly, I'm, I would put Armika up here in B+. I think Armika this season actually got a lot of good buffs. The mic buff is really good. It's so fast low forward buff to peach is really good for one specific reason i think is that at a certain range if you do low forward peach you cannot punish it and the block stun become very weird and it's hard to contest mika at a certain range i'm sure if you're a mika main you probably understand what i'm talking about and even if you're not maybe you've been hit with these things and you understand but it's a certain range with crouching medium kick specifically the cancel the peach that's really good I also think I would put Akira up here in the B plus because I think that V Trigger 2 buff with Akira was really good on top of her already being a pretty good character, right? She also still has the Daigo V Trigger, which is so good for this character. Last B plus character I would say is G. G honestly 
got some good buffs this season with the V-Trigger 2. The EX will kick into V-Trigger 2 does so much damage. I think that this character can rob you so fast with V-Trigger 2 now that you don't even need V-Trigger 1 anymore. So you don't have to worry about getting a 3-bar V-Trigger. Manat, I think it's B+. I'm sorry. I did say last one with G, but Manat is just so good, bro. She can rob you still with the V-Trigger 1. It's just that Manat kind of... People don't really play her anymore, right? You hit Cell Sako was the last one. He stopped playing her this season. I think now he only plays Kage. So she's just such a weird character that no one wants to play her because of how like technical and hard she is, per se. But like if you did want to play her and you got good with her, she is a very hard character to beat. And she has very good tools, good V trigger. And it's just, you know, she's just so good overall. It's just that she's very hard to play. It's her only flaw. And I think people don't really want to do that in Street Fighter V. Next character in this B tier, I want to say, is Kage. And he kind of suffered the same thing Akuma and Seth have. And that is the thing about Kage, unlike Akuma and Seth, is he doesn't have the good neutral buttons, really. The character has low health with not as good neutral. And I think that's why Kage is a little... Worse than those characters, but still, nonetheless, he is pretty good because he does do big damage. They did try to buff his neutral this season, which I would say is a buff in general for Kage. He definitely got some neutral buffs with the fireball kind of going forward for him now, the regular fireball. So it's kind of better in neutral. Next, I will put up here is Rose. I think Rose is a character that actually improved a lot. I think she is actually pretty good this season. The only thing I would say she really still struggles with is the fact that she does kind of get rushed down in characters that get over fireballs pretty well, which there is quite a lot of them in 355. They kind of still watch her. And then next, I would probably say Sagat. I think Sagat is, honestly, he improves every season. This season, he got better anti-air combos with, like, Stan Heavy Kick. I want to say he got buffs to Tiger Shot. I think Low Tiger Shot is a lot faster now. Which is a crazy good buff on top of giving him better anti-air combos. I don't know why you would ever give Sagat better anti-air combos and more damage that way. But yeah, I think this character has gotten a lot of buffs this season. And he's definitely gotten a lot better. Next, I'm going to put up here is Oro. This character, I think, is amazing this season. If you watch my Oro video and you watch me play this character, he is so good, I think, this season. With his buffs for the little tattoo move to kick the little kick kick thing low forward like the fact that you can confirm that now is amazing with this character it opens up so much bigger damage or or opportunities to get big damage with oro the fact that you can get really good confirms with him on top of them buffing like ex his ex grab now you get oki off of that i honestly don't know much about sakura this season i think she's around the same she maybe could be B plus, maybe the B range. I'm not too sure about her, so I can't really give too much of a good explanation. I'm going to just put her in this area because I think she's around here. Oh, Chris CCH is in the chat. He's saying she sucks. I'm not really sure what they changed about Sakura. I can't really see her being lower than B, though. So I'm going to just put her around there, B, B plus. Next, I want to say Ryu is definitely a B tier character. This character keeps improving. He's getting met better damage on top of being a pretty decent zoner, having good buttons, good confirms, good anti-air, giving them good damage with super. Bro, this character just gets a lot of stuff every season, right? The only problem I say Ryu have is that once you get around his fireball game, it's a lot harder for him to play at a certain level, you know? At that point, you're just fishing for, like, low forward confirms and... Ryu doesn't have the best low forward, you know, in this game. That's why we hoping for Street Fighter 6. That low forward is looking very promising, I must say. So, next, I'm going off to say Fang. I think Fang is also a B-tier character. This character is very, very good this season. Got a lot of buffs. Got a lot of new combos with crush counters now. He does more damage. Got good V-triggers. Fang V-Skill is one of the most annoying in the game. He has some decent zoning, right? He has really good rushdown. He does pretty well against uh, some of the top tier characters, believe it or not. The only problem I think with Fang is the fact that some characters kind of just shut him down completely and they kind of just rush him down and he's kind of, you know, not, he don't even get to play in some matchups. So 
that's like the biggest problem I would say for this character. I would say Lucia at C tier. No, actually next I want to put Dan in B tier. I think Dan is still a pretty good character. I think he got some buffs this season. We actually have to do a buffs and stuff on Dan very soon. This is another character I don't know too much of his change, but I know he did get some buffs with his V skill. One, not the taunt, not the one that has like the taunt that I used in the past. Uh, other one where he actually just do taunts i think that's the v skill that got buffed this season so we definitely gotta do a buffs and stuff i think dan didn't really change too much where i think he was pretty good last season it's just that he's very underrepresented i guess people don't really like dan as a character right but starting off the c tier i would say is lucia honestly i think lucia this season is not that bad she still struggles in the same areas but the fact that they helped her v triggers and it gave her more damage it kind of just makes her even better in that department where she already was excelling at i forgot to put vega vega i think is also b tier character still has ridiculous neutral and he's definitely got a bit better but i think he's still struggling when we just rush him down and it's still hard to anti air with the character so when characters have good jumps and could change their air trajectory he does still struggle a bit next in this c tier i want to put abigail honestly this character is not that good in my opinion anymore he definitely can still rob you pretty fast but honestly they the nerf to the ex run i think was just too big on him and the fact that you can punish it so easily when that was such big part of his core game plan on how to rob you was just tossing out ex runs and the fact that you can kind of jump on abigail a lot now ed definitely got buffs ex flicker is a lot better honestly i do think this character is a lot better it's just hard to put him in b tier because he still struggles with getting whiff punishes and getting damage from a whiff punish better he definitely get better he got good offense always it's the same thing with ed every season that we say in every tier list pretty much if you go watch the video i would say birdie is next this character is just i don't think he's that good anymore right he still has pretty good neutral but he struggles against a lot of zoning characters on top of them nerfing the anti-air was just a bit too much for Bird. i feel like now a lot of characters can just kind of go inside the cross up range and just cross them up e honda i think just has too many bad matchups right zoning characters kind of got buffed this season and became a lot better and that kind of made him go down on the tier list you can counter pick this character very easily nowadays so i think that's like e honda's biggest weakness you have gil i think gil actually got a lot better this season i'll say it's still though if you watch the old tier list video the biggest problem for gil is the fact that crouch jab crouch and medium punch still don't combo he still has no reliable confirm off a counter hit crouch jab so he's just that lack of range when you hit someone with a crouch jab on top of having no so that's like your best way to get people off you since you have no reversal it's kind of just yeah it just makes the character trash i'm gonna say and then zangief you know this character's garbage bro he keeps getting nerfed i don't know why i don't really have to say much bro go watch the old videos you'll know why zangief's garbage he's still the same nash still the same they gave him some buffs they not really buffs they still trash so same thing and then blanca he got some buffs character's still garbage bro but yep this is the tier list here this is coming to the end of the video. Let me know what you thought about the tier list. You know, if you agree, disagree, let me know in the comment sections. You know, I'm always up to, open to some criticism and, you know, hearing what you guys got to say in your opinions. We cannot dismiss y'all feelings. Everyone is just a tier list at the end of the day. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. There's nothing to get mad over. Can argue about it all day, but, you know, never too much to lose any friends over. But, yeah, let me know about it what you thought about the video in the comment section. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.